And we know from studies of implicit biases that children of color, in particular black children, are often perceived as less innocent, less mm -hmm. able to feel pain, uh, older than their actual age. This is perception. And, yeah. and so yeah. when, I mean, and, and how much of a role does uh, Hollywood play on people's implicit biases. I mean, it, it's tempting to think that the industry influences our yeah, relations yeah, yeah. with one another completely. Is it overstating it? Well, you know, there, oh gosh, how much time do we have? I mean, <laughs> there, there, there's a huge literature on um, media effects and, and, and the impact media have on the way we think, um, who we are, how we see ourselves, the whole bit. The, the, probably the strongest um, finding that's reproduced over and over again in the literature is that um, the media tend to set the agenda. So things we see in the media a lot are the things that we talk about that we think about. So when we see certain types of stories and experiences presented um, continually, um, they're things that tend to rise to the top of the agenda in terms of public discourse. When things are omitted, when they're absent, um, then they become less important and they, they, they're minimized. And so we have problems like you know race and racism, for example, that you know, we don't see them depicted, so we believe that everything's okay. And so there are all these interesting studies of the Cosby Show, for example, you know, from the 80s that talked about its role and sort of um, kind of um, almost being duped into supporting an enlightened racism of that period that was very mm. much in line with where uh, President Reagan's, you know, um, political agenda was going as it related to race. You know, it was unintentional, of course, because they thought they were doing something different, but in fact that was the kind of the unintended Sanford consequence. And yeah, and those shows, I mean, they, they were kind of, you know, reacting to those shows from the 70s and trying to do something different to quote unquote recode blackness. So, um, you know, to get back to your original question, I mean, it's absolutely key that we have um, the, these, these images that, that work to dispel the myths because the media, while it's hard to quantify because of all the other influences in the world that, that aren't just media focused, um, they do have an impact on how we think and what we think of as normal. Media, media have a normalizing function. The more we see it in the media, the more we take it as, the more we take it for granted, basically. And you know,